they just cannot believe how little tyre temperature they've got. The first time they stand on the brakes coming out of the pits. And that's, oh, he's nearly lost it again. He oh, nearly he's lost in the it wall. into the stationary car. And Fittipaldi becomes the second driver to find the wall on the way down to turn three. So, so frightening with uh, safety car intervention in play. Potentially marshals. Uh, over the wall, clearing up the car of Nisani. So this is, he's gone straight off coming out of the pit. Yeah, so he goes straight off coming out of the pit, and when he spins the car back round, he just tags the wall with the rear left suspension. Oh, let's, uh, well, little bit of, uh, little bit of rewind, but I promise you he does. <laughs> let's have a look. He's just been through, he's been off the road and turned. Oh, it's oh, failed. It's a, failed. At the back of the car. The left rear suspension failed, and he clouted the wall on the exit of turn he two. Had. Just get his breath back, I think. The monocoques have had a little bit of extra carbon fiber uh, put into them this year to assist the protection of that survival cell, particularly the sideways protection, make the, making the cars a little heavier this season. Uh, to a certain extent, it's put the heavier drive. Oh, oh, there's been an accident right behind. I was behind. just going to say, I was just going to say, if they're not careful, they're going to have an accident because they were arriving too quick. You can see them all avoiding each other initially. Well, that is ridiculous, isn't it? That should never, ever happen. Derek Hill in the number 22 car. Yeah, you can see, see the car slowing, slowing, slowing. Suddenly, lock up. Just not paying attention. Absolutely. And it was it was the Italian, really, who caused that because he veered across right in front of Derek Hill. <laughs> So now after a couple of moments, chasing the safety car around this wonderful Spa Francorchamps circuit. And this is not the same car we've got more problems. Oh, it's a disaster for Timmy Hansen who's giving the thumbs up. He's all right. Now, how does that happen under the safety car? You always have to ask the question. The son of the former rallycross champion. Well, look, we've got all those cars have just stopped. Oh! Well, Grégoire de Moustier, what was he thinking there? Now, look at this. Well, how did he not see that all those cars were stopped? He must have had a brake problem or something. It's been the story of the race, though, hasn't it? Here we go it? again. Let's see. Yeah. Definitely to me. You watch when he goes alongside. I think they touch again. Yeah, they do. What do, do they ever? He drives into it. Yeah. Are you, wait, he brake tested me. What the f going on? Understood. We're reporting it. Focus on I have stuff. damage, I think. The last time I can recall anyone doing something like this was Pastor Maldonado to Lewis Hamilton at Spa after qualifying. He did drive into it. He did. Incredible. So did Hamilton turn his steering wheel towards Vettel? No, he doesn't. Vettel literally just came alongside me and turned in and hit me. Dovendo, uh, dovendo ricostruire nuovamente il gap sugli avversari. Intanto, come avevi pronosticato, la safety car rientrerà al termine di questo passaggio perché davvero... Attenzione! Attenzione Marco De Toffole, decollato in questa fase, questa situazione, questo incidente con le vetture che sono arrivate alla piratella e non si è accorto del rallentamento di fronte a sé Marco De Toffole che ha tentato di frenare all'ultimo ed è decollato sulle... And not exactly the, uh, on the safe spot. Uh... Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, a few rags lost there, and uh, they want to get these boys uh, separated as quickly as possible. And do take care, marshals. Oh, my goodness. Well, very, very fortunate, I have to say. Um, I'm not sure just uh, how aware everybody was there, but... Um, not very well, look at it. Yeah. Let's have a look here. This is the view from the, yeah, the first car through, which is free cycle. Well, he knows he's got through, thank goodness. And that may well... Well, there is the good news. Santiago Urrutia out of the car and hopping away. But that was a high-speed roll for Urrutia. And is that going to bring out the safety car? 
suspect it might do indeed it does so the race getting itself underway immediately brought under pause and it all got very very busy into they for the first time and there's more incidents behind and as the car slam behind the safety car we've cut away and a very very nasty accident it would appear behind the safety car one of the cars involved launched into a multiple barrel roll and it was the cars at the back of the field not realizing the safety car boards had come out here we see it again and they all slowed down they found out looking for space and you can see it's one of the dav cars absolutely launched into the air unfortunately the number has of course been ripped off and, and then subsequent contact from another car and so a very very nasty incident There's been a lot of people around the prima racing tent today oh and that's uh, one. Oh, oh, huge incident on screen there. Santelok driver spinning behind the safety car. Another driver going straight into the side of it. Uh, and that is Maya Verk who went straight into the side of him. And I'm glad we're seeing these pictures because that shows that Emo Fittipaldi Jr. is out of the car, uh, who is also caught up. So here's Emo Fittipaldi Jr. He spins. Uh, here comes Maya Verg now, unsighted behind Maschio, and there's uh, Nikhil Bora, apologies, uh, who's just caught up in all of that as well. Magna Varia, man, took a fit. Yeah, again. A Schweizer hölgy. Ah, that's the lad, like, what's going on? Let's. Let's get a fog, did I? That's a good thing, what? Tegnap a 15. lett. Jól van, szerencsére egyivel megelégszik. Ott esenek nézni azt a sárga autó, autót hátul. Én nem tudom, hogy nem látja a biztonsági autót, mert Pietro Gandolfi úgy érkezik meg ide, mint aki meg akarja nyerni a versenyt. Sárga zászló alatt, aztán amikor észreveszi, hogy mi a helyzet, akkor egy óriásit fékez, és ki, ki tinan a zsegáknán volt. Hát elnézést, de nagyon mulatságos jelenetek. Um, certainly a very big contact on the bodywork. That was on that, but it's the left wheel, left front wheel. Oh, oh, look in the background, under safety car, we've Japan. got a, a car rolling over on the main straight. In fact, that's there we are, just right below us, that car has gone. This is what happens in these, well, look at the bodywork, you can see the car upside down. Probably be another couple of laps, here's the view again. And Clamber, I mean, he, he actually, I think he didn't manage to hit the front, he might have just clipped the nose, but then the sequence of barrel rolls, and then slides. We've talked about the surface being slippery. Well, there's an indication of how slippery it is. Tires. I think you are. When you've seen how much Mercedes struggled, at, oh, someone's crashed under the safety car. Uh, it's That's the Haas. Hass. It's the Haas, and we're just looking at the moment to see who it is. Grosjean. And it is Grosjean. For the second time this season, big points available on what Australia. His wheels fell off. He's weaving around, trying to get temperature into the tires. And what's happened here, Paul? Oh, he's just dropped it himself, trying to get temperature. We've seen drivers do this behind the safety car before, but... What happened? I think Ericsson hit us. 